Greetings, ladies and mantle gents, and welcome to this latest edition of Tales, Tales from Outer Space. 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 And as always, I hope that you enjoy Terran Design Principles, written by Arclight Magus. The Interstellar Design Consortium Conference. I always love seeing all the small updates and upgrades to design all the different species have. Tybar rippled gleefully. Yeah, yeah, same stuff as last year, with all the normal minimal changes needed to qualify even to come to the conference. Caesar bemoaned, shaking themselves a bit. Come on, it's not that bad. Besides, you know the conference is where the new species get to show off their own designs. What could be more exciting than seeing how a new species designs their spacecraft? Tybar refused to give the Caesar's energy. I suppose, but... Uh, there are only so many ways to build a craft where you reach the point of the Blockian cruiser, and the Wenian cruiser are practically indistinguishable. Caesar gripped a piece of food, assured that the day would be filled with excessive treats, so some decent food should be obtained, at least. Maybe the entire G2 untrained eye, but those two species vessels look nothing alike to us. Tybar also decided that food was a good idea. Did you actually read the brochure? Caesar prompted. More or less, uh, there's going to be several exhibitions of their latest improvements, Tybar said. And you apparently didn't notice that they moved halls specifically for a solar cycle, Caesar mentioned. So, when in the last 100 solar cycles has the conference moved from one normal exhibition hall? Caesar asked. This required a bit of thought by Tybar. Not since the Judans joined and first attended the conference... The design principles were so radical, the conference council moved the conference just to be able to give them the adequate exhibition space, Tybos said, recounting as they were reading or recounting one of their design teachers before looking back at Caesar. Why? Caesar was busy eating, so he did not immediately respond. Luckily, Tybos was there and hated silence. Oh, you think that one of the new species maybe has something similar? Tybos asked, their excited energy returning. Caesar rippled in response. I want to go see the new designs then. This will be so much fun, Tybar said, practically towing Caesar away from the food towards the auto transports. What's... what's this? Tybar exclaimed. The view before Tybar was alien. There was no other word for it. As far as Tybar could tell and see, one of the new species had so many different designs, the conference had given them not two, but five rows of exhibition space. Such a quantity of space being given to one species, even a new one, was unheard of. Caesar wore a look of indifference, not appearing to be as shocked as Tybar was, but was still clearly caught off guard by the huge space dedication. From the species entrance table for the space, a strange-looking being approached the pair. Bipedal extended limbs which divided into graspers, Obvious sensory apparatus on top with some sort of bio-extrusions appearing to be attached to its top. Greetings and welcome, gentle beings. Welcome to the Terran Exhibition Space. Would you like to have a look around? The strange being gestured with its ear extended limbs. While the galactic standard sounded almost perfect, their body language was terrible. Tybar skipped over the missteps of body language, enough semi-first encounters by themselves with other species at the conference had led to a sort of personal filter. Most of these other species didn't know or couldn't begin to replicate proper body language. Caesar was far more incensed by the terrible body language, but saw Tybar move to follow this being, and so put it aside for now. Caesar would much rather be at home, working on their own designs, rather than coming and cooing over other designs that had two accidental changes that somehow made the design more desirable to some new part of the conference. Identify yourself, please, Caesar said, somewhat gruffly, followed by the being of Tybar. I am the member of the Terran Confederate greeting staff for this event, the being said. And uh, what is a Tyrain? Tybar asked. We are a new exhibitionary species. We were discovered last solar cycle as part of the Trello expedition, the Terran said, their body language still terrible, but not moving. The mispronunciation of their species name seemed to go right past it, Caesar noticed, although it was highly unlikely that Tybar meant anything by it. For all of their creative genius, Tybar didn't appear to have a single unkind bottle in the whole of their form. So, what unique designs have your species brought that makes you so interesting as to grant you five entire rows? 
Caesar prompted. The Terran shifted his sensory apparatus to one side, the bioextrusion moving oddly. Is it uncommon for there to be an allotment of such space? The Terran asked. Exceptionally, the normal expedition spaces are other species are typically confined to a much less than a row each, Caesar said, raising themselves up amid. I shall have to make a note of that for future years, the Terran said. Yes, hopefully it wasn't too daunting to drive fill all five rows. Most species would find it a challenge, Caesar rippled. They were enjoying this. Well, it was a challenge. We actually had to organize a competition just to get the best of the best on the show here, the Terran said. Caesar paused and ceased rippling. Do you mean that your species actually has more designs than you are able to bring? Tybar was fully rippling and about to begin lubricating the floors. That is entirely correct, gentle being, the Terran said, appearing to be proud in some regard. No standardized design protocol. How do you ensure design functionality? Caesar asked. That's on the designers, which is to say that it is the responsibility of the designers to ensure functionality, as long as it can be safely operated. We do have safety protocols which dictate certain design limits, but those largely depend on the applications, the Terran said, gesturing to the conference data chips, which would be pre-populated with all of the relevant brochures and documents from the species exhibition. Normally, these chips were the cheapest and smallest available, but to Caesar's eyes, these were longer by a solid teleth and shone in the light, marking them as a grade all three above usual. That meant, to Caesar's strained thoughts, these chips must be brimming with design information. Quickly, Caesar took one of the chips and plugged it straight into the conference issue data pad. Instead of the near instant leap into a single brochure, it actually took several moments for the whole of the data to be loaded onto the data pad. From there, a fully customized data screen greeted Caesar and Tybar, who was looking around Caesar at the data screen, with menus delineating over a dozen design categories. Tapping one, the menu for fusion reactors expanded and revealed another 30 menu items, components as well as variable size designs and even decorative varieties. How is it possible that in one species has so many designs? Would it not be simpler just to standardize all of your designs? Tybar asked. Caesar was surprised. Tybar had asked the question that Caesar had just been forming. Getting all of the Terran designers to accommodate safety standards is uh, difficult enough. Enforcing standard designs beyond that is uh, practically impossible. However, by your question, I am forced to draw the conclusion that this is not the case with other species. Is this correct? The Terran asked, their body language still terrible. Most standardized species have a single set of standardized designs which designers are permitted to build upon and recommend improvements to, Caesar said, still bewildered by the huge number of menu items being shown. Oh said the Terran. It drooped a bit. After a moment, the Terran perked back up. Well, uh, I do hope you enjoy looking through our exhibitions then. If you require assistance, Terrans who have uh, specialized, but not designers, are available to answer your questions within each segment of our section, the Terran said. Many thanks, Tybar said, and turned to move off. Caesar was about to follow before turning back to the Terran. Are you aware of speaking body language? Caesar asked. I am, but unfortunately, if you're a cytokon, Caesar nodded, then I'm afraid we Terrans have internal structures that make it impossible for us to speak your species' body language. Interesting. Based on this statement, I presume it is some manner of rigid structure that you do not have to voluntarily or involuntary control over, Caesar said, glancing onwards and seeing Tybal already walking rapidly to another Terran while gesturing almost wildly at the strange-looking block of metals. That is correct. Please pardon our body language, but we are unable to speak it as you do, the Terran said. Caesar gave the Terran a departing gesture and moved on to catch up with Tybar, who had moved on to the next metal block, with the Terran specialist standing next to him. I feel like I'm back in my first year of design school, Tybar said, veritably collapsing into a pile. It was truly humbling to see that many designs from one species, Caesar agreed, sinking into the matching pile. Not just that, but there's so many variations. You don't know instantly from looking at a given vessel to be able to say that it's a Terran vessel or not. With all those designs, it's practically impossible, Tybar said, clearly wanting to ripple almost out of control. 
but lacking the energy to do so. And those are just the designs they brought this year. Based on the entrance to Terran, this was but a sampling of their designs, Tita recalled. I feel uh, inadequate as a designer, seeing all those designs. So many of them are so simple and yet so obvious. Ibar murmured, just keep in mind that there's still the rest of the conference to view. Caesar mumbled. Dal, the rest of the conference, we're going back to those Terran exhibitions tomorrow and getting more data. This is too interesting to pass up, Daibar said. But what about the fragment conductors? I believe you're looking forward to seeing how they'd managed an additional 3% efficiency in their shuttle designs, Caesar mentioned, only slightly surprised at Daibar's attitude. 3% is nothing compared to some of the design principles of the Terrans, and tomorrow I need a proper date to sleep for note-taking. The following conference, every non-Terran was given a copy of Terran design principles and an examination by Professor Tybar and Caesar of Kunulan Higher Learning. The opening of the document reads as follows. Pretend you knew nothing about species' unique design principles, everything from the Franklin Conductor design to the Bruthen Hypercruiser standards. Now, be faced with Terran design principles, the first and only rule of which is safety. There are no other design rules for Terrans and no higher standards, only safety. What this means is that Terran designs are more varied than a hundred species' unique design principles, and as a part of this text, we will explore the key areas of Terran design principles as they relate to the best designs that have been shown as a part of the Interstellar Design Consortium Conference. Hopefully, you're prepared to be confused, annoyed, and even angered. End of story. This is a special thank you to the one, the only, the legendary Erak Hino, who has become the only Tier 6 patron. I just want to thank the T5 patrons and channel members. Bob the Dragon, Cam Maxwell, Casper Arnholtz, Australia the Dreamer, Trigear95, Pewdick Yol, Meridian117, Elysia, Jordan Buxbaum, Angry Marine, Albard and Gasta, and Barky. Thank you very much. And that, my friends, concludes this video. I hope that you enjoyed. There are links down below both to support this channel and for the author of this fiction. Anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic one, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.